Hi guys and welcome to another Skyrim mod review. In this video I'm going to be showing you the mod Dual Summon Mount. What the mod does is quite self-explanatory. It adds several new conjuration spells to the game which are available from Farangar in um, Dragonreach and they in turn give you the ability to cast several different types of mounts and it casts two at a time. There is also a spell to dispel these mounts whenever you want. What we've just seen is the two new Deathhound mounts called Keijo and Gamar, and now we're going to move on to the Husky mounts. Um, I'm just going to show them in flybys at the moment um, with my character riding just one of the mounts at a time. I haven't currently been able to get a follower to get on the second mount. Um, I am using UFO and Convenient Horses, um, possibly a conflict there, but uninstalling those mods is quite complicated. Both mounts that are cast are quite different in appearance and have their own unique style. As you can see here from the Charis Flyers called Flip and Flap, they are quite different in their appearance and they're quite unique as well. They're really quite cool these two guys. Some of the animation for mounting and dismounting can be a little tedious at times as can the control of some of the mounts. For example, with flip and flap there, it is quite difficult to fly around sometimes. As it is with these two guys, R2-D3 and Speedy, it can be a little difficult to move them around when going at high speeds, but for short little journeys they are quite fun to use, especially when going through towns like Whiterun and Riverwood. This mod is ideal for characters that don't like to have a living, breathing horse and just like to have a mount whenever they feel it is necessary. As you can see, you can also choose from horse mounts as normal here, with a quite nice unique Dwemer horse there as the second mount that's cast. So, like I just said previously, there's quite a nice bit of variability in this mod. Each mount lasts for an hour of game time, which is quite a long bit of time and will definitely get you from A to B when necessary. Um, all the mounts can also be dispelled um, by using the Dispel spell, which is also available to purchase from Farangar in Dragon's Reach. All the spells are very reasonably priced, so you'll be able to buy one quite easily. Um, I think they're about 189 septums. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to buy a nice horde of conjurable mounts for you, your character, and hopefully your followers as well. It's also worth noting, if you just play alone and do not have any followers, that the second mount, whether it be a Deathhound or a Husky, will actually attack enemy NPCs as well. The Deathhounds are quite useful in this respect and will finish enemies quite easily. Uh, so it's quite useful to have those guys around. Um, especially if you dismount, um, both Deathhounds will then attack NPCs as well. So it's quite useful to have those as a mount. So up until now we've been seeing the mounts from version 1.0. And now we're going to be seeing the mounts from 1.1. 1 .1. There have been quite a few added here. Um, deer, which is the one you're seeing now. Um, and then we're going to move on to pandas, I believe. Two cool pandas. Remind me of the pandas from Edinburgh Zoo, if you've ever been there. Um, quite cool, guys. I like the uh, Doverkin helmet that the one male panda is wearing. I think that's pretty cool. And as again, these guys are all unique in their appearance. The tiger there at the back looks friggin' awesome with his little like chair chariot thing on and uh, his quiver as well and I believe he has a sword on the other side. So I'll leave you now with that mod. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to look at the mod head over to the mod authors page and as always I'll see you next time.